this tutorial on how to play No Distraction by Beck. We have a capo on our first fret. We're in standard tuning. I'll be teaching you the verse and the chorus in this tutorial. The chord progressions for both are all open chords, except the chorus has one bar chord, which is an F, but I will teach you the open chord if you're a beginner. Instead of that, uh, we're going to start here with the verse. So we have an A minor chord. Your index finger is going to be on the first fret of the B, middle finger on the second fret of the D, ring finger on the second fret of the G. Then we're going to go to an E minor. So you're going to have your index finger, or actually your ring finger, on the second fret of the D, middle finger on the second fret of the A. So that's your E minor. We have a G chord, so your ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the high E, middle finger on the third fret of the low E, index finger on the second fret of the A. It's your third chord, and then we have a D minor. So your index finger is going to be on the first fret of the high E, middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the G, and your ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the A. So those are our four chords. We have an A minor, a E minor, a G, and a D minor. Now the strumming pattern is a little tricky, it's not too bad though. So we're going to play our A, D, and then our G and our B strings together. And I'll do that with my thumb, play the A string, D string, and then the G and the Bs together on that A minor. Then we switch to our E minor, and now we play our E string, D string, and then our B and our G together. We go to our G chord, E string, D string, G and our B together, and then we go to our D minor and we play our D, G, and B strings. So that sounds like this. I'm going to go ahead and play that with the song here so you can hear how it sounds. sounds that's the first part of the verse we're gonna get into a part where it sounds like this instead it's gonna be the same chord progression but they're gonna switch up the uh, picking pattern so it's gonna sound like this so it's the same chord progression a minor E minor G and then your D minor but now we're gonna go pick the A the G and the B simultaneously and then continue picking the G and the B for four beats. So one, two, three, four to your E minor. One, two, three, four to your G. One, two, three, four to your D minor. Two, three, four. And how that sounds with the song is like this. We're gonna have to wait for a second. But... So to play the chorus, there's several ways to do this, but I'm going to teach you this way. We're going to start out with an F open chord, and if you'd like you can play F bar chord instead, but I'm going to te teach the open chord for beginners here. So you have your first, your index finger on the first fret of the B, middle finger on the second fret of the G, ring finger up on the third fret of the A, and your pinky tucked right under on the third fret of the D string. We have an F chord, we already learned our G chord. We go to an A minor and then to a C. And to get to a C from your A minor, you just simply leave your index and your middle finger on and you extend your ring finger to the third fret of the A. So that strumming goes like this. how it 
sounds with the song. It's just like this. taught you the verse and the chorus in this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. I did go through that pretty quickly. If you'd like to see more tutorials or if you have requests for me to produce tutorials on, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.